Dear colleagues, dear friends, I think you got an idea from about the place where I came from. First of all, I would like to warmly thank the chairman of the Arctic Circle Board, Mr. Grimson, for the opportunity to take part in this high assembly and to speak today. I sincerely appreciate the very warm welcome and your hospitality. Um, I am happy to speak today about my homeland, Yamal, a region which is located approximately seven hours flight from here. The time difference is plus five hours, so now it's already evening back home. And it's not only by air that you can reach Yamal. We are all connected by the Northern Sea Route. While you are building Finnafjord port, we are developing our port in Sabeta. And when uh, all the job is done, it will take just three days to get to Yamal from here by sea. Yes, Yamal is well known around the world as a supplier of natural gas. We extract almost 600 billion cubic meters of gas in our region every year. I think all of you have heard about the largest freshwater lake in the world, the Russian Lake Baikal. It stores one-fifth of the world's entire freshwater resources. Well, the amount of gas produced in Yamal in one year is comparable to 25,000 Lake Baikals. Look at this slide. Can you imagine right here there was a village with only 19 people? Over the last four years, its population grew to nearly 30,000. These people worked there when they constructed the liquefied natural gas plant called Imal LNG. This is an international project which involves both European and Asian partners, France-based Total and China's CNPC. The plant is now operating in its full capacity. So you can understand the size of the plant, I will use your kind of language. Last summer, Russians were all fascinated by your national football team. Well, the total area of the Yamal LNG plant is 250 football pitches. Just one tank like this uh, for liquefied natural gas could hold two of the world's largest passenger planes. Gas decreases in volume 600-fold when liquefied. This tank can be fully loaded onto the LNG carrier, which later ships its cargo along the Northern Sea Route to China, India, Japan, Canada, Europe, South America, and even Africa. The LNG carrier uses liquefied natural gas as its fuel while moving, decreasing sea pollution levels. The volume it can carry at any one time is enough, for instance, for a country like Sweden for a whole month. We see our region's future in the development LNG production. The decision has already been made to construct several more LNG plants in Imal. But we are not only rich because of gas. I know that here in Iceland you have 350,000 citizens and uh, 500,000 sheep. In Imal there is a similar story regarding reindeer. We have more reindeer than anywhere in the world, about 700,000. At the same time, the population of Imal is about half a million. The reindeer are the key factor ensuring the well-being of indigenous peoples of the region. These peoples practice their traditional lifestyle, migrate, and pasture their herds. Every tenth inhabitant of the region belongs to indigenous minorities of the north. Yamal is one of very few places throughout the world where the number of such people is always growing. Over the past few years, the growth of indigenous peoples has reached more than 12%. We try to provide children from families that lead a traditional lifestyle with every opportunity for education while respecting their culture and way of life. Every third child studies in a so-called nomadic school. A teacher usually accompanies families during their migration. Medical aid plays a particularly important role for those living in the Arctic desert. We provide migrating families with satellite phones. In the case of an, an emergency, ambulance, doctors fly out by helicopter immediately. But the people are what we are mostly proud of in our region. Can you believe that the Yamal team are the world champions of beach volleyball? <laughs> it's true. 
This year, those two guys performed just greatly in the harsh final in Germany, competing against the host of the championship. It's true. <laughs> Emal is bidding the, to host uh, the 2026 Arctic Winter Games for the first time in its history. These games unite Arctic regions. Children are our future. Therefore, such an event is the best way to build bridges we need so much. We have been participating in the Arctic Winter Games for 15 years, and many of our children started their professional sport career through these games. Iceland doesn't take part in these games at present. However, we would be glad to see you in Imal, both as participants and guests at this sport event. Sure. Dear friends, has anyone ever seen this bird? I'd like to share with you the story of natural phenomenon that our region is proud of. The largest and rarest falcon in the world, the Jir falcon, nests on operating infrastructure facilities. For example, as here on the railway, railway bridge. This year, we have checked 45 bridges and found six nests. Yes, we are actively developing the industry of the region. At the same time, we do our best not to damage the unique Arctic nature which Yamal is famous for. Our region is a natural habitat for Arctic foxes, elks, polar and brown bears, as well as unique species of fish. It's an amazing location. People from all over Russia come here for mountain climbing and rafting along, along mountain rivers. But unfortunately, we have recorded a significant decrease in the amount of white fish in Amal rivers in recent years. This has happened mainly as a result of active fishing. The fishing of white fish is now banned. Moreover, in partnership with oil and gas producers, we have built a fish hatchery. We are growing young white fish in conditions totally similar to natural ones in order to re-inhabit our rivers. This is a very complicated technological process. Deviation by even a quarter of a degree Celsius could kill the newborns. Last year, the hatchery produced 30 million young whitefish, which were released into Yamal rivers. Talking about nature, five years ago, many were frightened by this picture. A unique geological spot was found in our region. It was a crater 20 meters wide and 50 meters deep. To illustrate, we could place a 16-story residential house in the crater. Scientists concluded that it was a release of gas that caused the crater's formation. It was later discovered that this crater is not the only one. We find similar gas releases from time to time, and uh, uh, other craters like this are formed, uh, formed often. Afterwards, they will fill up with water and do not differ from conditional lakes, conventional lakes. Scientists uh, are inclined to think that the reason for such releases is structural changes of soils and landscapes due to melting permafrost. This is a challenge of global warming and climate change. I believe that all the Arctic countries and regions should unite in order to develop the right strategy to deal with this new reality. There is another challenge for Yamal in terms of ecology. Active development of our peninsula during the last century left us with abandoned camps and equipment of our Faroe, on our Faroe Islands. A few years ago, our volunteers took up the challenge to clean up White Island. This is the northern, northernmost point of the region where polar bears walk freely. Every summer, a helicopter brought ecological troops to the island. We collected hundreds of tons of waste. White Island has thus become truly white. From now on, it will be used for scientific observations of the Arctic. This summer, our volunteers have been working on another island. By the way, it's not only Imal residents who are cleaning up the area. We have volunteers from different Russian regions, as well as young people from Kazakhstan, Germany, and even Israel. Anyone can sign up to become a volunteer, but the selection process is tough. Yes, I met the guys this year, and they are a truly beautiful team. I'm very proud of them. Together, we found a lighthouse that was shut down for decades. 
our volunteers have managed to light it. Now, every ship passing the Northern Sea Route can see the light of Yamal. Dear friends, just like a lighthouse, Yamal always attracts strong and brave people from across the country. 40 years ago, they were exploring oil and gas. Today, they build plants, bridges, and roads, and get involved in expeditions without any fear of the harsh climate and other differences. I hope that today my speech too has lit this faraway lighthouse of Yamal for every one of you. We are looking forward to welcoming you all in Yamal. Thank you.